13 on your side late night starts now. After storms hit most of West Michigan Wednesday, all eyes have been on the rivers and creeks as flooding became a real concern. Although the Grand River is cresting today, recreational use at several parks is highly discouraged as the danger remains. Here's a look at where 13 on your side has been all week tracking it. We continue monitoring these conditions today and 13 your signs. Josh Albertus was in Comstock Park earlier today. Now he joins us. So Josh, what did you find? Well, what we saw was an entire road, an entire neighborhood actually submerged as the river hit its peak earlier today. Both new and longtime residents, however, not letting regular flooding discourage them from living there. Days after severe flooding swept over Michigan, areas along the Grand River remain underwater as the storm only exacerbated the river's flooding as it crested on Saturday. The closest I ever came to this, um, I was living on um, off just off Michigan State campus on the Red Cedar River, and in 1985, it was almost up to our windows, and we were in a we were in a, a lower apartment, so we already had water coming up in our bathtub and our toilet. Jim Winslow has lived along the river in a neighborhood on Comstock Park's Abrigador Trail since December. As the river crested to around 16 feet on Saturday, he described how he's seen neighbors band together to wait out the seasonal flooding. We, we keep in close contact. We, um, we put, uh, there's someone who man manages the site and puts out bulletins as to what's a good time to move your cars to higher ground. Winslow had to take a canoe to meet us at the new edge of the river. Because we were unable to get to his home ourselves, he shared photos of the current flooding around his home. Like many in the area, his home is elevated in case the water rises. He said although flooding is routine in the area, residents still believe living along the river is worth it. I know it's been sort of on the uptrend recently, like, I don't know, every two or three years there's a flood similar to this, but on the average it's usually like five to ten years before we see something maybe of this magnitude. Um, I mean, I've met people that have been down here 20, 30 years. And, um, I mean, if you see the view it, and just being able to live on the river, it's, it's worth it even going through something like this. Now, according to the National Weather Service, they predict the river in that area to return to near normal levels by about Friday evening. Elena.